The world right now is how I remember college hangovers, except this is the world stone cold sober. As we sit inside a literal reckoning of race and power, our system seemingly collapsing all around us, I am here to tell you that you have power, despite the fact that you can't get a haircut. When I entered UCLA in 1996, I had dreams of becoming a famous artist but not the family to guide me on how to do this. My grandparents were immigrants from Southern China and they built their American dream in the garment industry. My parents were the first generation to go to college and they were anxious to leave the thread and fabric life behind. My mom got a stable job as an accountant, but she still taught me how to sew. Thanks to mentors I made at UCLA, I did find a way to make a career as a performance artist and my parents for the most part have accepted it. Uh, the sewing skills that I inherited are used to make the sets for my show, like this presidential seal behind me. I should be on my national tour of Christina Wong for public office about how I ran and won a local seat on my neighborhood council. I, I ran because in November 2016, it felt like politicians and artists had switched jobs. They now create the shock and spectacle that have us questioning reality. We now create the social change. Now I'm both an artist and an elected representative. In January, I didn't even know how to sew a mask. In fact, I refused to wear a mask as a form of protection. You see, I already walk around the world with this mask on, the one that I can't take off, the one that tells most of the world, oh, maybe she brought COVID here. I wasn't about to put this mask on top of this mask and get the same stares that I was unintentionally giving to older Asian people in my neighborhood who were wearing masks. But then, in March, my nurse friend messaged me and told me that her hospital was telling them to tie bandanas around their face. And it became clear to me that masks were a legitimate form of protection and there were not enough to go around. I now lead the Auntie Sewing Squad, a volunteer group that makes masks for the most vulnerable of communities. We started in late March with 10 volunteers. We now have hundreds of aunties all over the country. It's no surprise that most of our aunties are women of color. We learned our garment making skills from our mothers who passed those skills onto us. In fact, my mother and her friends are part of the squad and I get to order them around along with hundreds of other folks. Together to date, we have distributed 70 thousand masks. We've been on CNN, Good Morning America, NBC, and we even have a book deal. And I would trade all those accolades in if it meant that communities would no longer have to deal with the stress of not having one of these. In this crisis, the heroes are the ordinary people, the people who risk their lives to go to the meatpacking factory, to drive buses and deliver mail. You've likely heard this too many times this year, but this is an unprecedented moment in history. Systems need to be rebuilt. It's not clear who's in charge or if the people who are in charge know what to do. All hands on deck means that we all have the potential to do something of value, whether it's to protest injustice or provide critical aid to those in need or getting out the vote. And if you can't vote because of your citizenship status, or maybe you're a Doogie Hauser or a child genius who started college early, good on you. Get your friends to go out and vote for the things that you care about. And heck, why not just run for office? I did and won. And now I make medical equipment on a Hello Kitty sewing machine with my UCLA degrees in English and world arts and cultures. It's all possible. Maybe there's a geography major who will find the vaccine next quarter. Listen, I know things are a little stressful with the whole humanity, existential threat thing, but uh, here's the good news. The rapture is playing out a lot slower in real life than it does in a movie. So we still have time to support others and make change. Show up big in life because when you show up for yourself, you show up for the world.